Good morning, church. Uh, we made it to the weekend, um, whatever that means. I know for some of you that means nothing at all. Um, for me, uh, it means I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited about virtually gathering with the church. I really am. I think it's going to be a neat time. I uh, encourage you, let's continue to not neglect meeting together through this time. Um, log on to Facebook, and we will be gathered there together. Uh, if you don't have a Facebook account, you can go to uh, Facebook slash redemption and uh, I'm excited when we're looking together at uh, John 20 19 to 23 and Jesus words to the disciples uh, peace be with you and what that peace means uh, but this morning I want to share with you from uh, Hebrews chapter 13 and uh, looking at verses 20 uh, and 21 uh, let me read it for us now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So much, so much there. We could preach weeks on this, but um, let me just pull out a few things. First and foremost, the God of peace. That's our God. Do you know him as the God of peace? Is he your peace uh, in this strange season of life? Trust him. He's the God of peace. And then the God of peace who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus. Uh, he's sovereign over everything. He's sovereign over death. He brought Christ back from the dead. And who is Christ? He's the great shepherd of the sheep. He's the one who loves us, who cares for us, who guides us with his his rod and his staff that comfort us. The blood of the eternal covenant. His covenant, his promises are eternal. They never fail, they never fade. Uh, they're not shaken as time comes and, 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 and things happen. Um, his, his promises are immovable. So the God of peace who brought Jesus up from the dead, our good shepherd, rolling out, being faithful to his eternal covenant and all that, that he might equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight. What is God working in you through this time? What is he using this strange season of life to be uh, transforming you in? You're growing in faith, and you're growing in how you shepherd your family through this season, how you love your kids, how you care for your husband, your wife. Um, be looking for God's work in you and, and be uh, embracing that. See how God is using this, that he might be equipping you with everything good to do his will. That's, uh, that's his, his purpose to equip you that, that we might do his will, that we might live for him uh, as, a, as an outward focus here as well, um, as, we, as we love our neighbors, as we proclaim the gospel of hope and peace to those who are lacking it so, uh, so desperately through this time. Uh, and of course, to him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, and he will be glorified, church. He will be glorified in his church. Um, for eternity, that this will play into the larger scheme uh, of God's sovereignty coming together in the culmination uh, of his beautiful bride prepared and sanctified for him um, and, and the proclamation of his glory. So hold on to that this morning. The God of peace, sovereign over all, working out his eternal covenant, working in you to equip you for his work for his glory. I uh, love you, church. I'm praying for you, excited um, to see you tomorrow and uh, to worship again together, mostly. Um, but you are loved.